sure you keep up with all the new content on Gaming for XP. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll let you know once we've uploaded anything that's new. See ya! Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Abernathy Farm. I hope you are all well. Gaming for XP here. And today what I thought we'd do is we're going to build a building that's in the process of being built. All sounds very cryptic. This idea came um, partly from the build I'm doing at Cutler's Bend at the moment. Partly through a playthrough I was watching on Japik O Death's um, channel. If you haven't checked his channel out, please do so. And obviously playing the game as well. There's a number of construction sites around the Commonwealth. And so it kind of sparked an idea and we're going to see where it goes in today's build. So let's get into the build menu and let's get started. So the story behind this is really... Um, I wondered what the settlers of the Commonwealth might do to a um, building that had already been partly built and uh, then the bombs dropped and it was left as is and I, I just wondered what if he, that uh, was in the Commonwealth what would happen with it so today what I'm going to do is first of all I've got to build the framework and then we will um, add a whole lot of pieces to make it representative of um, settlers coming along and um, and utilizing the partly built um, building for their own means and so it's very I'm trying to keep it as low friendly as possible I'm using the grounded mod as you can see I'm just looking for the right pieces at the moment to get the foundation now I could have built this a little bit bigger but um, I what I uh, end up going with is a 3x3 three three, uh, building and I'm just looking for the materials that kind of suit it. Concrete, it, obviously it would be a concrete foundation so we'll go 3x3 three three and we'll see what that looks like. Now, <laughs> I don't know why, now the arena build was here. Um, if you haven't checked out the, the arena build that I did here, uh, please do so. I'll leave a link about now. Um, the arena build was here, and for some reason, my um, mod thematic and practical is no longer. It um, and I know the reason why, and um, the mod author or mod developer is very vocal in these reasons why he hasn't got that currently available on the Nexus or on Bethesda.net want to understand why you can go and check out his comments or her comments to the reasoning why but unfortunately thematic and practical uh, because I didn't act done a clean install has gone now so the arena build was here and most of it was missing because I used ex a lot of thematic and practical to do that build so I had to come back here and completely scrap the whole arena build now when you do that, um, I stored a whole lot of materials in my inventory, but for some reason, I don't know, the, I, I did use a lot of concrete stroke cement in that build, and it did not store in the local workshop. So I had to go away and get some materials and come back. Hence why there was a bit of a, a change in uh, transitions there, because, um, yeah my uh, uh, my materials for some reason didn't store properly so um, so the arena build is gone it's funny when when you build something that big you don't realize how many materials are actually involved until you have to scrap them all and scrapping what was left of the arena build it took a long long time <laughs> let me tell you it was a big structure Okay, so I'm using um, grounded for the base. I'm using snappy house kits here to add some um, walls and whatnot to the um, build and um, to, to make it look as though it's partially built. And also these um, concrete floors are excellent for the look I'm going for. They work very, very well. And you can see I've put a lift in, which I do hook up and um, which I do hook up 
and it is workable but in the final tour I'll actually show you now we get into some silly stuff with these stairs and later on I find the easy way of doing this <laughs> so I'm going to cut out a lot of the finagling on this because it just gets a bit silly uh, because the big drama here is to try and get that as close to the wall as possible and get it all straight and you can see there's a bit of a gap blah 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 so I'm going to Transition to the part where we actually get it right. I'm not going to show you the 10 or 15 minutes it took me to try and get to try and do this. And lo and behold, by the um, beauty of video editing, there's the double stairs are in. So I'm going to put a wall on there and um, just to block it up partially. And uh, we're going to use maybe the brick wall there. Now you can see the overhang, they actually have something that you should place underneath there but given that it is a construction site it's not quite finished yet blah 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 so we're not going to do that so we'll put these stairs so we can get up into this building here um where are they there they are just spin them around like that and they should snap straight on there no problem now i'm only going to show you the kind of basic uh building principle for this next level and then we'll skip ahead because it's just rinse and repeat and I don't think there's any value in showing you the same thing twice so um, luckily this has these kind of quarter pieces um, in the inventory and you can see look it's all squint I'm like oh, okay so here's the easiest here's the way I should have done the stairs put that on first clip that to there clip that to there Go down and clip those stairs in and it will all work perfectly. If you'd seen the struggle that I cut out, it was silly. And it's amazing when you don't use certain materials for a while, you sometimes forget how they all fit together. Build order is key. So there we go, we've got the second level up. One of the big things here, of course, is that you've got to leave enough space to get down these stairs. Otherwise, you get this kind of scenario. So, um, I just leave these open in the end. I try a whole lot of things, as you, you're about to see, but nothing works because you can't. Look, you can't. No, you can't get under. Just leave it. It's perfect as it is. No. <laughs> no. Nothing works. Okay. Leave it. Good work. So. To make it look like a construction site, you're going to need um, the pillars that come with the warehouse tab. Now, I am not sure exactly, um, because I'm so uh, invested in mods, I'm not sure what um, comes with what. So, I suspect that some of this is warehouse rearranged generated, but hopefully... Um, with the warehouse tab you have these cross beams like that that you can use if you don't go on them um, grab what has workshop rearranged and um, they should then all be available to you um, there we go that I want that there but it, for some reason it won't snap there so I'm happy with there so put a whole lot of these supports in we might just speed this part up um, actually I don't put too many of these in I put them in there actually to pull them out there later on it, they don't actually serve much of a purpose by being there um, I just wanted to make it look as though it's supported now the big thing when you do this upstairs is now you have to build a framework upstairs um, yeah, we want that under there, no, under there, there we go, nice, okay, up we go, and we have to build a framework up here, now the, the big difficult here, or is isn't really difficult, but you just be aware that you need to line up these pillars with the pillars underneath, otherwise it's not going to look right, and actually looking back at this, I probably went with shorter pillars up here, I should have probably went with longer pillars, but Anyway, not to worry, they, it all works fine in the end, so see that one was out of place. You can sort of see them poking up through the concrete, if you look carefully, see there. So it kind of helps you line all these up um, perfectly. And I don't know why it won't clip on the end there, but it won't clip on the end there. 
Another one of those things that happens when you're building in Fallout 4 sometimes. So this is just a lot of rinse and repeat. I go to put it on there, it doesn't go on there. I don't know if it would make sense for it to be on there anyway. Um, hop down and just check it, everything's right. And it, you know, if it's not adjusted, because if you continue the build at this point, you don't check it, then you might have to redo it all. Okay, here we go. So now get the cross beams put in. And it's always good to kind of go through in this kind of workflow with the uprights first and then the cross beams next. Now, I find a, a unusual thing that happens here, and I have to actually adjust the way they put together. And I will, um, I've left it in so you can see it in actual fact. Um, I'll actually come up with a better way of doing this. See how that's not lining up? So, you actually, all you need to do is just pull that pillar up. Like, that doesn't line, why does it not line up? Hmm. Yep. And these are these are a bit finicky. They're they they yeah, their snapping's a bit. Uh, at times they they will snap perfectly. Other times they're just like. Mm. And there for some reason. There is a gap, but it's that very end one. So. Looking for a solution for it. That all oh, pull that across and pull that beam across. There and it and it suddenly shot ah and I'm like oh hang on that's the better way of doing it so pull those out push this across like this come on sometimes if you're getting a problem with snapping just put one on like I just did then then push that across that's the easiest way to do this and it, it, you'll find it will work much better so that's still not the right height because I need to pull that pillar out and push it across like that there we go and it all lines up perfectly i'm gonna have the same issue with this one push it across like that and there we go snap into position but now it's for some reason it's hanging off the end of the building so i'm just going to pull that across and pursue it into position there we go like that all good now we need to have some cross beams going on here but we'll go like snapping in there now be persistent because they will snap in like that um, it just they're, I don't know why they just they snap a little bit strangely. Um, so this is kind of rinse and repeat stuff. Now you you get the idea. So I'm going to speed this up. And essentially the, th the third level is is the same process. Um, just repeated. So I'm not going to show you me doing the third level, and because um, I don't see there's a value in it. So put these final posts in just as supports for those cross members and then step back and have a look and I can see one doesn't line up quite perfectly so I'm just going to pull that across like that and that lines everything up nicely there we go and so you know next level the biggest um, the uh, biggest uh, drawback to this is that um, you need to put some foundations in on the upper level um, and then find some way of um, getting up to level three oh, you could uh, rely on the lift if you wanted you need to put a post in there just to make it look as though it's supported there um, or you can do what I do which is put a ramp in so there we go all good now what I've found, and it's, I don't know if it's the mods I'm running or whatnot, but what I have found is that these um, concrete floors from Snappy House Kits actually snap to the lift base. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, which is extremely helpful when you're trying to get the next level on. So... Let's go back to Scrappy House Kits, go back to those floors and you'll see exactly how these just suddenly snap. And what they're doing is they're actually snapping off the lift there, which is great, fantastic. Now you see that they snap a little bit down, so if they do that, just push them up. And it happens a couple of times in this build. 
where they um, you see that snapping down push them up you can do that when in game as, as you're doing it you can push them up or you can just snap them there release and then push them up like that and they should snap into place perfectly now I get all these in and I realize I've got to find I've got to find an, a way to get up there because um, it's not necessarily it wouldn't necessarily make a lot of um, sense that they would have the lift working straight away they may have they may not have so I decide to put a ramp in and yeah the ramp takes a while and I actually put it in the wrong place to start with which is probably the part part I'm going to show you and then I'll show you the revised um, the revised way of doing it so I'm going to take that out there and I'm going to run the ramp right up there so I'm going to utilize a uh, what is it called? Stairs, Ladders and Ramps from the Master Plan series uh, by Etheron. Fantastic. He's done a big overhaul on this mod and they, they look fantastic now. So I'm going to run that like that. Platform coming out there and run the ramp there. Now I don't make much of a change to this. I just move the ra ramp a little bit. Um, these are actually... Yeah, you can see. Yeah, okay. Mm, I can't get up there. Okay, get up there now. So there you go. Um, these are actually the um, ramps that you'll find for fire escapes and things on some of the buildings in Boston um, City. So, I think I'll cut out the bit where we... What are we doing? I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing. Okay, so we're looking for some of these um, railings. Luckily, they've got these kind of angled ones which are good that really doesn't work there so we'll leave it off and uh, yeah this is a pain in the butt this one and I end up coming up with a different um, different configuration a different railing system anyway so we're gonna I'm gonna quickly um, transition to the finished article because you kind of get the idea and here we go you can see I've changed it just to it was a, it just seemed more natural and a better flow for um, <clears throat> For the building now i'm going to cut out this bit because essentially what we're going to do is exactly what we've done on level two and i'll show we'll come back once we've got all these posts and supports in place so here we go three levels and one more thing that i wanted to put on the front was um kind of semi made awning or veranda area or porch area whatever you call it in your part of the world so pretty simple to do um, but I think it actually helps to enhance the overall look. <laughs> if this ever snaps in, there you go. See th these, they're, they're, I don't know why, they're, they're a bit fairly. Just pulling that out for now because of the build order. Um, it probably wouldn't snap these on. So put snap these in and then you can put the wall straight back where it was. They want to snap everywhere except the spot. There, uh, there, there it is. There we go. So that looks like that. Then I'm going to put the supports coming down like that. They should just snap in beautifully like that. And you can start to see that this front awning, front area is starting to come together nicely. And it's just a case of putting some floors in after that. And um, I end up going with wooden, the wooden floors that you get in um, the warehouse tab. Not those ones. I end up using the foundation ones because it just makes more sense. But these should just snap in. I have no idea why I decided to put that floor in, but anyway. Uh, change my mind and go with end up going with these ones like that, because they should just snap in. Now, this does cause me a little bit of clipping issue, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, and there we go. Uh, we actually need some cross beams and we should be good. So let's cut to the final tour and we'll see what we end up with. Um, now that once the settlers move in and make it their own so here's the final tour and you can see i've put a kind of site office in a couple of fences around it and then we've done a heck of a lot of decoration so um let's go and have a good look around what this ended up as so this is the site office it's just two of those little cabins put together not too much i've kept the the decoration in here really minimal um, as it probably would be put a whole lot of elements around and um, 
let's go and see what we've done. So we've built a little area off to our right here um, with that kind of patio stroke um, awning. You can see the clipping. It's a little bit of clipping there. Um, I can fix that. But you can see they've moved in and just utilised um, utilised uh, this area here. Now, if you want to see me doing all this kind of decoration and whatnot, leave me a comment down below because I did record a lot of the decoration and putting this together. I'm happy to put that out on the channel if you think it's a benefit for you and you'd like to see that. It's not normally something I do, but um, I decided in this build to record it all. Now, you can see the divider here is actually a bookcase and I've kept it very, very minimal. This is uh, just one of those shack wall ends there. Couple of sleeping bags and a rug and a few bits and pieces, but I think it does speak to the overall look. We put a little bit of a bathroom in here and those of you who have watched my Cutler's Bend um, build, you would have seen these um, toilet configurations in the past. Um, so it does speak to the fact that people have come in and just utilised the building site um, as it is and, and built on top of it. So there's lots and lots of decor decorative items here that I've added that would be on a building site of lot used a lot of cinder blocks um, etc and um, fires are uh, around the place a lot now this sleeping area here you can actually get one you get lift up to level two and again I've kept it fairly barely bare minimum um, lots of little elements in this and it really does make a build we're talking about it on the channel in the last couple of weeks that it, Adding all these little details is what makes your uh, settlement builds believable. And then we have a workbench from Creative Clutter, which has a weapons bench and also an armor bench on it. Um, nice little design there. Ooh. Up we go on the ramp. And you can see lots of elements that I've used in the, the past. Little meeting area um, in here. And um, there is a little sleeping area, you can see Concord off in the distance. A USAF Olivia satellite station, there's the Concord, so Red Rocket's over there. Uh, a couple of sleeping bags in here, and that's pretty much, I've kept it really, really bare minimum to try and sell the overall um, look that they've just come in and added a few things. And I've also, look, I also looked at Abernathy Farm saw what they were doing and um, kind of used that and it implemented it into this build. Uh, there's lots of boxes and stuff like that if you go up into the main farmhouse. So there you go guys, I hope this is, um, you've enjoyed this build. It's something that I haven't seen anybody else do in the past and it, it was just a little idea that I had and I, it, it actually turns out much better than I expected it would. So thanks for supporting Gaming for XP and we'll see you next time on the channel. See ya!